Hey, this is Joe. Hey, Joe. Are you making it to work on time today? What? Of course, Mr. Because look, uh, I like you, but you're showing up late to work quite a few times, and I want to make sure you're relieving the person you're supposed to relieve on time. I told you at the beginning of the month that my train line is under maintenance. And really, I'm never late more than... I know than... you've got a grace period to come in, but that time adds up, Joe. Look, I already gave you a warning, and you should have figured out which train to take by now. I know you're trying to do bigger things in your life than work here, but I'm not going to let this slide anymore. I'm not paying someone 20 minutes of overtime because you were five minutes late four days of the week. That's ridiculous. Okay. I'm giving you this phone call because I like you. So please, be smart. Show up on time from now on, okay? Okay. Are you on your way yet? Because you should be. Look, man, I got time. All right. You want to talk about it? All right, let's talk about it. I work my ass off every single day. Every, every fucking day. But what? I'm late, what? Five minutes, a few days in a week, and I'm the worst employee you got, huh? <laughs> but let Mr. Milton McCracker come in, what, 15 minutes late with me needing a relief, and everything's fine, right? All right, look, I know he's never late, but the point is, you wouldn't be giving his ass a call the next day, would you? You know, how come every time I come into the store, I look like I, I'm not good enough to be there? Like, I don't give him a thank you or a compliment. But everything Milton does gives him a standing ovation. And yo, what is it with you being so fucking cheap? You're a manager in a multi-million dollar fucking company. <laughs> I know you're not calling me a socialist. Stop. Stop. It's my turn. I get to talk now. Not you. You've been talking for years. You don't give bonuses. People got to kiss your ass to get a raise. And what, you can't pay 20 minutes of fucking overtime? Really? Really? Yes. There you go. I want more money. Yeah. I know. I, every time one of you motherfuckers get caught off of being greedy, like the thought word socialist out there. I'm not a socialist. I can just clearly see that this shit that I'm working in is just meant to keep you rich and me poor. All your friends are rich. You don't know one single broke person, so I can't even relate to you. And the people that work for you, the broke ones, can't relate to us. Like, we're not even on the same fucking level. And you know what? It's about time we notice how strong we are. It's about time we notice how much we, the workers, contribute to this greedy-ass country than you. I mean, when you get money, you put it on some offshore account in the Cayman Islands. When we get money, we spend it on shit we need, and like, with the little we do get, we get headphones to listen to music, to make us feel alive, because that's all we got. And the fucked up shit is, you control how much I make. So the only person that can make a difference in my economical life, you, can't relate to people in my tax bracket. How's that for fucking smart? So what? So what? 
So I fucking quit. And so does everybody in here. Because you don't control our lives. And you know what? You know the real reason why I start a revolution up in this bitch? It's because I know ain't nobody going to join me. But here we are, all together. And the only reason why we haven't all collectively quit is because you haven't even given us any time. To... Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 man. Shit. Oh, God.